Hello, this is Tom from Your Workspace, and I'm going to be providing a quick demo to show how users can gain access to lockers just by using the Release Me app. Now, typically, the first step will be downloading the app via the App Store, whether that's iPhone or Android, um, it's available on all platforms. It's obviously free to download. So once downloaded, users will simply need to link their user profile to their device. And um, that can be done in a number of ways. However, as we are working remotely currently, given the current situation, uh, it's all been done by email registration. So if I were to click on the app, it brings up a screen, it says company code required, scan QR code. Essentially, uh, there's a QR code that's unique to each workplace and each client. Um, it is represented on the control panels within the lockers um, in the space. So once lockers do arrive to site, you know, the first time they go there, they can do it then. Um, and obviously it only needs to be done the once. And once it's linked, it stays linked to that profile. Um, so essentially, as we're working remotely, I've got a copy of a QR code for our showroom. So I just have to click scan now. See that there, the QR code's there, scan it and it brings me up a little welcome page asking me to enter my email address now. I've already done this, so my email address is already entered, so all I need to click is register. Just confirming that an email has been sent with a confirmation link, so just click continue, and you'll see that shortly an email will pop up. There we go, um, and it's just asking me just to confirm the registration of a new device. So if I click on that email, it brings it up here, very simple, and as you sort of see on a number of different platforms, just asking me to confirm the registration of the new device that that was me, and it is allocated to my user profile. So I simply click here at that link, brings me through to a, a, a web address, just asking me again just to confirm the registration, which I can do, confirm that, and it's successfully registered. Now I will get another email confirmation, just stating that. Uh, this level of communication is something that's quite key. Um, obviously with users embarking on a new way of working with lockers or, or trying to understand how they work, communicating back the rules and how it needs to work and how they can use them is essential. So it's something that can be adapted to each client to suit their specific requirements. So um, we've got templates you can use, but obviously it can be uh, changed to suit. So once that's done, um, simply again, just click here, link, and it says open release me app. Yep, click open, and it brings me through to the dashboard. Now, that dashboard shows me lockers that are already allocated or the lockers or storage that I'm able to gain access to. So, based on my user profile and the user group groups that I sit within, I'm able to gain access to the team storage cupboards, which is uh, number 23 there, and the team locker, which is number 2251. Now, if I were to click on either of those, as you can see, it gives, comes up with a central button there to open, which if I click, gives you a little countdown of a time of when you can walk up to that locker or cupboard and push the door to open. Um, if it's a Simplicity Plus bank and there's a LED light on the door, that light will be flashing to indicate that it's ready to be opened. Um, and if it's just the Simplicity bank, then it would just simply be a push to open once that time is on. So it would only be the user knowing that that specific locker or, or storage is ready to be opened. Obviously, as you can see there, there's no option to release that lockers or you know deregister myself from that allocation. That's something that would pretty much be set by a team leader or management um, based on the groups they're in and how they want to work within the space. Again, team storage exactly the same. So this is a double door cupboard um, that I'm able to gain access to. Um, so if I've got specific files in there I need to get out, I can simply walk up to the bank, click open, push the doors to open, and get out whatever's needed. So. Every time I'm pushing that open button, there is a record on the system. So there's a full audit trail of who's gaining access and when and how and for how long. So if anything you know, untoward does happen or anything goes missing, then again, there's just that full audit trail to, to look back at and uh, to understand what, what's happened. Um, equally, so if I want a personal locker coming within the space, um, if it's not pre-allocated um, and you're giving users the freedom to choose what they want, all they simply need to do is click the menu in that top right-hand corner, click Get Locker gives you the location. So obviously if you're using this across multiple sites, um, as an agile worker, I may be between different areas, different locations. So I've got the freedom to pick and choose where I am in that day and, and what I need access to. So obviously I'm based in London, so I'll click London. Um, out of our two showrooms, it'll be the Great Sutton Street showroom. So click the top button there. Um, and it gives me the banks that are available, banks A and B. Now, 
if you're working in a neighbourhood uh, set up and you've got teams within neighbourhoods, you may say that users are only able to access certain banks within certain neighbourhoods or if they've got free reign, they can pick and choose what neighbourhood they want to work in for that day. Um, so for now, if I say I'm working in you know neighbourhood where bank A is, click bank A and it pulls through to show what lockers are and aren't available. So based on the personal locker sizes that are available on site, oh, there's two large lockers that are free, all the medium sized lockers are occupied and the small lockers, there's eight free as well. So if I were just to click a, a large locker, open it there, gives me the options of the numbers that are available. So if I just click 22, again, pulls it back through to my allocated lockers at the dashboard and it says that number 22, a personal locker, which is the large size, is now mine. So for me to go up to the locker, walking up to the bank, simply click on there uh, and click open. And again, push the locker to open and that is as simple as it is, um, and that is your locker. Now, that is my locker until I choose to release it or until the system has uh, anti-claiming rules. So if, say, at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., all the lockers are released, um, redistributed or, or, or completely cleared, that can be set, and the user will get push notifications through this app or email confirmation to confirm what is and isn't happening and at what stage it's happening as well. So it's as simple as that. And likewise, if I'm a, a user moving between different spaces, I can go back into that locker and in that bottom right hand corner there it says release. I can click the release button, release that locker for, to be freed up for someone else to use. And then I can, if needed, click get new locker. London again, Great Sunshine Street Showroom, say bank B now. I want a small locker, different floor, different area. Click that, click the locker I want, 256. And that's my locker again. So it's as simple as that. Um, and it gives users, oh, there's two, five, six, gives users the freedom to choose where and when they want to access storage uh, and just makes that whole system more efficient, uh, obviously with management intervention at every level to confirm how it should be using um, and ensure it is being used correctly. So 